Hi, I'm Pete from Peak Performance Business Accelerator. If you're watching this video today, possibly you're a business owner or maybe an entrepreneur. Could it be you're self-employed? And the reason you might be watching the video is the fact that you're, uh, you're concerned a little bit about your business because your business seems to be running you. The staff are doing their own thing. In fact, you don't seem to be able to get anything finished because there's just constant interruptions. And the difficulty is you go home at night absolutely drained, wondering what did you actually achieve today. Well, I want to give you a big tip on how you might be able to sort this out. So stick around because I'm going to show you what, this, uh, uh, what the tip is to actually get control of your business again. But firstly, why would you listen to me? Well, I've been mentoring business owners for over 19 years now, both here and in New Zealand, and I've run multiple businesses myself. And over that time, I've developed a very unique and proven system that helps business owners get their time back and actually get control of their business. So what's this tip that I want to give you? Well, here it's like this. Firstly, to take control, uh, you've got to stop having an open door policy. Remember, this thing came through from about the 80s where all managers and leaders had an open door policy. It's absolute rubbish. Get rid of it. Have an open door policy if you want, but only say for two hours a day. And it could be, say, from 11 till 12 or from 3 till 4. At other times, the staff have to work it out themselves or wait till you're free. It's really interesting. You'll find that when staff can't come and interrupt you, they'll actually figure out the solution themselves. Secondly, if staff do come to you for, a, uh, for uh, an issue they have, ask them first. What's the solution you've got to the issue? And initially, they will look at you blankly. And they'll say, oh, no idea. So you say to them nicely, look, go away. Once you've got the solution, come back and let me know. You'll actually either like the solution they come up with, or you'll say, no, that uh, in fact will do this. But what it's doing is it is getting the staff to think for themselves, as opposed to you being the leader, having to do all the thinking. Utilize the benefits of your staff their expertise as well. All of a sudden, you're going to get a whole lot of people coming together with good ideas. Another tip for you as well. Do a default diary. What I mean by this is, diarise what you're going to do each day. Now, I know this sounds prescriptive, but the really interesting thing is that if you have a certain amount of time to do uh, emails, if you have a certain amount of time to do staff training, and you actually diarise when it is, and stop when the time is up, you're going to be more effective. So actually have a default diary so that you're working through your week so you know when your open door policies are. The next one, really important one, is to have staff training. Train your staff all right, so that they can do the job that you're paying them for. That's the really interesting thing because you are paying your staff. Let them be effective. So there's three tips just to help you to get control of your business. Now, if you've liked this tip, please like it. Um, share it, or even comment on it. I'm Pete from Peak Performance Business Accelerator, helping you to get uh, your business to where you want to get it to.